Okay, now let's look at preparing and analyzing the stockholders' equity section of the balance sheet and the statement of stockholders' equity. So here's a stockholders' equity section example for NVIDIA Corporation. They've got preferred stock and common stock with additional paid in capital to bring the total paid in capital. Next up, they've got the retained earnings and treasury stock takes out, giving them accumulated other comprehensive loss and their total stockholders' equity. Here's the stockholders' equity section of Canadian Falcom. They have preferred stock, common stock, and additional paid in capital for total paid in capital. They've got retained earnings, nothing in treasury stock, and their total stockholders' equity. So let's look at the statement of stockholders' equity for Canadian Falcon. At the beginning of the year, we're going to assume that their balances are zero across the board. During the year, they issue common stock. This common stock is at par value in the common stock column, and the additional paid in capital is listed next to that for total stockholders equity of 30,000. Next, look at the issue preferred stock. The preferred stock is at par value. The additional paid in capital is in that column for a total stockholders equity of 40,000. They repurchased some treasury stock for $3,000, so that reduces the total stockholders equity. They resell the treasury stock for $3,000 and an additional paid in capital of 500 for a total stockholders equity of 3,500. They pay out cash dividends of $500, which reduces their retained earnings and their total stockholders equity. They pay out a 100% stock dividend, reducing their retained earnings by $10 and increasing their common stock by $10. And they have a net income that they put into their retained earnings of $30,000. What they will do is they will add down each column to get preferred stock at $30,000, common stock at $20,000, additional paid in capital $40,490, retained earnings at $29,490, Treasury stock is zero, and total stockholders' equity of $100,000. The stockholders' equity section of the balance sheet presents the balance of each equity account at a point in time. The statement of stockholders' equity will show you the change in each equity account balance over time. Let's look at a concept check. How does the stockholders' equity section of the balance sheet differ from the statement of stockholders' equity? A, the stockholders' equity section shows the balances at a point in time, and the statement of stockholders' equity shows activity over time. B, the stockholders' equity section shows the activity over time, and the statement of stockholders' equity shows the balances at a point in time. C, there are no differences. Or D, the stockholders' equity section is more detailed. If you chose A, you are correct. The stockholders' equity section of the balance sheet shows the balances at a point in time, and the statement of stockholders' equity shows activity over time.